It's so hard not to use other notes already. Dun, 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 dun. I keep trying to change the notes. Banging on my door now. Mm, that's a different note. Oh my gosh, this is hard. This is really challenging. What's up everybody? My name is Connor and today we're gonna be taking on a fun songwriting challenge. So my goal today is to write a song using only one single note. So what does that mean? Well, if a scale has do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, I am only going to be using do, re, mi, fa, so, 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 the fifth note in the scale right there to write the melody of the song. So there's one stipulation that I'm giving myself here to just try to make it a little bit more of an interesting song. I'm gonna allow myself to jump the octave. So I can do so down here but also here, but also here. So it's technically the same note, just in three different registers. So that's the big challenge for today, but I'm gonna layer it with a couple other things as well. Last week I wrote a song using a random word generator and that was a lot of fun. So since I don't have a topic for today's song, I'm gonna let the random word generator pick that as well. However, I'm gonna generate two words and the topic has to be an intersection of both of those words. So I have to come up with a creative way to blend those words together to create the theme or the subject of the song. Additionally, I'm gonna do one other tricky thing here. I'm gonna be writing the song on guitar and I'm only going to be able to play a single note at a time, which means I can play any note I want, but I can't play any chords or any combinations of notes. So we'll see how this goes. It's kind of a complicated challenge. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm gonna give it my best shot and we'll see what happens. All right, so I already know the first criteria, which is to pick the fifth note in the scale to use as my melody note, but I have to pick a key where I can sing that note in three different registers comfortably. So let's see. That would not be the one. Okay, C is probably gonna be the best key because I can sing this note down here, I can sing it here, and I can sing it here in my falsetto. And I can hit all of those fairly comfortably. Ah! And if I need to, I can hit that one too. I'm gonna try not to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at the random word generator and see what we're gonna be writing about. So the website automatically generates a bunch of words when you open it. So these are the five that came up. I have changed it so that when I hit this blue button, it'll only generate two new words. And those two words are going to be the subject of the song. Let's see what happens. Drum roll. Ooh, night and disorder. I actually kind of like these two words a lot. This almost feels unfair because I feel like there's a lot that I can do with this word combination. Something about like dealing with your demons or some sort of disorder that you have internally, but it only happens at night. That seems like a pretty easy way to do it. Maybe it's a night disorder as in you're afraid of the dark, something like that, like an adult version of being scared of the dark. I don't know, we'll have to see what happens. I think I just have to start writing this one and we'll see how it turns out. All right. I've got my notes and I've got my subject. So now I'm just gonna start writing. I'm gonna try to remember to only use one note at a time on this thing. I need my notebook. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna write down that night and disorder are my two words. Let's see what happens. I think we might have something there. I kind of like this already. It's so hard not to use other notes already. And I've already done that octave drop. I want to kind of save those because that's really the only chance I get to do anything with the melody. I feel like I need to start the song with the verse. Maybe. I've been running for my whole life. Chasing down the warm horizon. I like that, I'll write it down. I made friends with the sunrise. I think I'm still adhering to the rules so far. I think one note at a time on guitar, I'm still maintaining that single note for the melody line. I'm gonna add that as well. And I have an idea for the pre-chorus already. Okay. And I know I don't know why. No, I don't know why I terrified. I need to do something more interesting with the guitar since I'm so restricted in the melody line. Close my eyes, flip a switch when it fades to black. Oh my gosh, this is hard. This is really challenging. I flip a switch when it fades to black. Why not? What, what, what else am I gonna do? Okay, so this is weird for a song about night and disorder, but I think I have to make things major in the chorus. I've been kind of leaning into this C. 
six minor chord, but this is gonna get very stale very quickly if I don't do something interesting. And I'm already kind of exhausting the limits of what I can do melody-wise. I've gone high, I've gone low, I've had sort of fast staggered notes, I've had really long drawn out notes. <sighs> There's only so much variety you can create with a single note. It's possible though. I know it is. I know I can do something cool with this. So let's see if we can figure it out. It's gotta be something like that. I don't know what else to do. Oh my god, okay. Uh, dun, dun, dun. I want to actually use the word disorder in this chorus. So I kind of have my melody. I'm going to put my guitar down for a second. So I'm trying to think of a more interesting, like, lyrical angle that I could take for this chorus. I don't want it to just be like, oh, it's dark and I'm afraid of the dark, so I'm trying to stay out of the dark. That's cool for like a verse and a pre-chorus to kind of get that idea across, but I feel like there needs to be kind of a, a unique twist here. I want to put the word disorder in, but I think like, you know, what are we scared of in the dark? right? As a kid, you tend to just visualize and imagine all of the monsters just waiting in the unknown to come out and, and attack you. So I think maybe using the chorus as a place to kind of detail out what those monsters look like. And maybe this could be interesting. Maybe I use the literal monsters and connect those to actual things that as an adult are, are challenges, like mental health wise. Frankenstein makes me anxious. Dracula keeps me in depression. Like that kind of thing. The trick is to do that, do it all on a single note, not make it corny. Oh boy, why did I pick this challenge? I'm just gonna write down a list of monsters. Any words that come to mind that kind of match the theme. So we already said Frankenstein. Technically Frankenstein's monster. Common misconception. Frankenstein was the guy who created the monster. But I'm just gonna say Frankenstein if I actually put it in the song. And we write vampire in parentheses, Dracula, Edward Cullen. No, absolutely not. What else hides in the dark? It's October, I should know this. Skeletons. There's a perfect opportunity for a skeletons in my closet line. Zombies. I love zombie books. How did I not think of that one? By the way, if you haven't read World War Z by Max Brooks, oh my God, what a great book. I'm gonna put Bigfoot on here because better to have too many ideas than too few. Ghosts. I could definitely do something cool with ghosts. Fear of mortality. or a fear of getting ghosted. I don't want every song on this channel to just be depressing. <laughs> I'm just gonna write down things that terrify me. Giant spider, werewolves. I'm thinking about Twilight again. Okay, I've got a good list here and I've already forgotten my chorus melody. Skeletons in my closet. I keep trying to change the note. The zombies banging on my door now. Mm, that's a different note. Vampires in the hallway. I'm gonna start there and we're gonna see where we get. Uh, I really feel like I can do better than that. Skeletons in my closet. <sighs> so there's something that lives underground, like a creature that lives underground. I've got door in here. I feel like I can say beneath the floor. I feel like I should switch it up actually. I've listed off three different types of monsters already. This is a perfect opportunity for me to kind of flip the lyrics and uh, tie it into more of what the metaphor would be about. Singing on my door, on my door. I see green within the goblins, see death within the ghosts. Something like that. Okay, I think I got through the chorus. Obviously, I'm going to need to tighten this up. We're going to have to figure out how exactly to make this work. But the core structure is there. I need more coffee. BRB. All right. Cheers to doing difficult things. Difficult things make you better. I didn't say disorder in the chorus. I want to tuck it into the second verse. I think the pre-chorus I might just leave the same as it was the first time. I've been losing my grip now. Giving in to a dark disorder. Rhymes with disorder. Border. Order, obviously. Quarter. Oh, I have an idea. Been playing the game so long that now I'm down to my final chord. Something like that. Not quite that. Playing the game, trying to stay sane. I'm just gonna leave the pre-chorus the same. Uh, I don't want to overcomplicate it. I feel like I can do the same pre-chorus twice. However, I've come to the horrifying realization that I'm gonna have to wrap the bridge. That way I can avoid using actual notes. I've kind of already done everything I can do with a single note. I mean, I could do different variations on things I've done. I just don't think it would continue to be interesting. The only other option is that maybe I just, since I am using one note, it gives me more room to play around with the guitar chords. I could like reharmonize it in kind of a jazzy way. 
but I don't know if that would work for the, the song that I've already established. So we've got all the diatonic chords, right? I could turn that note into the major seventh. I could turn it into the third of an E flat chord. It could be the five of C major or C minor. It could be the flat six of a B flat 13. Maybe I could do both. Maybe I could do some crazy chords and also rap something, but like over those crazy chords. So I kind of like, I actually think I can do this. I think I can pull that off. I think reharmonizing the chords was the key this whole time and I'm only now realizing it. I'm not gonna rewrite the rest of the song. This will just be a unique thing that we get to do during the bridge. If I just arpeggiate those one note at a time, I'm still adhering to the guitar rule. And then like, I think I changed the tempo. <laughs> They're not real, but they drive me wild. But I can't let go of my painted smile, fake enough to live with the monsters. Daylight I hide from the nightmares, but in the nighttime they fill me with dread. Okay, so I've kind of got a rap that I probably need to tweak. So let's figure out the first half of this bridge, because I'm skipping around like I did in the last song. I did the second half of the bridge first again. Most no matter where I go, where I go, the ghosts know where I am. I can only hold a single note. <laughs> Should I be really meta and call out what I'm doing in the song lyrics? I don't know. Will I ever understand? Okay, oh my god. All right, I think I have a song. I think. Wow, that was, I think the next challenge is gonna be easier. I don't know if this is gonna be any good, but we'll find out here shortly. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this if you've made it this far. What do you think, did I pull it off? Let me know in the comments. All right, that's it for today. The next thing you will see is my final recording of this song. Let me know what you think. I've been running for my whole life, chasing down a warm horizon, best friends with the sunrise. Enemies with the dark of night And I I don't know why I'm terrified Yeah, I Flip a switch when it fades to black Skeletons in my closet Zombies banging on my door now Vampires in the hallway I'm locked inside on the bathroom floor I see greed within the goblins See death within the ghosts But the monsters in my head are the ones that bother me the most I've been losing my grip now Giving in to a dark disorder I've been playing the game, trying to stay sane I'm down to my final quarter I, I don't know why I'm terrified, yeah I, Flip a switch when it fades to black Skeletons in my closet Zombies banging on my door now Vampires in the hallway I'm locked inside on the bathroom floor I see greed within the goblins See death within the ghosts But the monsters in my head Are the ones that bother me The most No matter where I go The ghosts know where I am I don't know where the road goes Will I ever understand? I feel a bit like a child I know they're not real, but they drive me wild Maybe I'm in denial But I can't let go of my painted smile Fake enough to live with the monsters Real enough to live in my head In the daylight I hide from the nightmares But in the nighttime they're making me wish I was dead Skeletons in my closet Zombies banging on my door now Vampires in the hallway I'm locked inside on the bathroom floor I see greed within the goblins See death within the ghosts but the monsters in my head are the ones that bother me the most.
ghost I see greed within the goblins See death within the ghosts But the monsters in my head are the ones that bother me the most